Hey guys, it's the Savani Sis here again in the house. This is Minal. And this is Kashmir. And we're here to activate your sukkah, your inner joy. In today's video, we're going to talk about the power of being a leader. Activate that leadership energy. Stay tuned. So let's start off with a Zig Ziglar quote. Yes. Zig Ziglar said, you were born to win. You are engineered for success and you are endowed with the seeds of greatness. And you can make all your dreams come true. So with that being said, let's dive straight into this video. It's all about leadership. So in life, all the decisions that people make, the majority of it is in fact fear-based decisions. It's always designed to avoid pain rather than attain pleasure expand grow right so majority of our time and decisions are spent in avoiding pain so it is fear-based so having this leadership energy is significant in making your dreams come true and they are not in fact fear-based they are based on love they are based on growth expansion empowerment so whether you have dreams and goals and desires of you know, wealth or financial or health or relationship based or even if you just want to feel light in your body, you want to heal those uncontrollable emotions, those irrational fears that you have that get keyed in and triggered, making your life miserable because you can't even live a peaceful life when you're constantly triggered all the time because you're so sensitive. You can be free of all of that. And if you want these goals and dreams and desires, whatever they are in whichever area of your life, whether it's personal, spiritual or financial or physical, then the leadership energy must be active in your vibrational field. So when we talk about leadership, most people on average kind of think that leaders is being, you know, a captain of a ship or being um, a leader, a boss of, or CEO, director of a company, and they are the one that are the loudest, right? They're the ones who are barking orders, they're yelling, they're shouting, they're screaming, they're giving orders to people, they're bossing people around, and they would see them as a leader. Well, in fact, guess what? We're not talking about these type of leaders, and the ones that bark the loudest are in fact the weakest. You know that the ones that are loudest are in fact fear-based they're operating out of fear they're not actually operating out of love growth you know expansion unity spirituality they're in fact fear-based leaders and these are not the leaders that we're talking about because those leaders their desire is to avoid pain it is not to expand and to grow and to truly help people so the real energy of leadership when it is activated in your vibrational field is that they do not get stuck in the mud they don't have a holding pattern they don't dig their heels firmly in the ground and not budge. You know why? Because it's all about movement. They take action. They have a winning attitude. They take action straight away. They start moving things in the physical universe. For example, if somebody wants to exercise and they haven't gone to the gym for a whole year and uh, they've been paying their monthly membership fees and that money is just going down the drain, right? Because they haven't even made use of the gym. Sounds familiar. <laughs> some of you may be may or may not be able to relate but they finally decide look I want to exercise okay so they go online they look up some exercise classes they look at a membership they reactivate their membership and oh lo and behold they actually physically get out of the house and go to the gym guess what they've done they've taken action they've activated that leadership energy They've got things moving in the physical universe. That's a winning attitude. That's highly admirable and respectable. And guess what that means? You've led yourself for the first time <laughs> in a year on your exercise plans. Well done. <laughs> so they started taking action that created movement forward. They got off the bench, they got into the real world and they don't mind if they fail. Let's say they go exercise, but then they didn't go the next day. Fine, you can make an agreement that, oh look, I was gonna go the next day, but I didn't acknowledge it, take full responsibility for it and make a new agreement. That is also very self-empowering and that also means that you are leading your life. They didn't have to scream, they didn't have to yell, they didn't have to do any orders, they just 
gently ordered themselves, they took action on it and they did it. That is when leadership energy is activated. And can I also say, Kashmir, that you yes. can also activate leader leadership energy through your self-talk, through yes. what you say to yourself. Yes. We're going to do another video on leadership because it's a huge, huge topic. topic. But this is so key because what Kashmir is saying is that when you activate that leadership within you, mm. because you are leading yourself, nobody else's you are doing it. Yes. It can transform form your life in so many ways. ways. Not only can it make you feel more joyful inside, but it can change everything around you, including your the people you interact with, your circumstances, events, situations that happen in your life. It's a major, huge shift if you learn to lead yourself. Yes, exactly. Also, another phenomena occurs that when you have led yourself, you're no longer a victim of this world. You no longer allow outside influences to control you. You are now in control of your uncontrollable emotions. You don't get keyed in and triggered anymore. You don't have irrational fears anymore when you lead yourself because leaders are not affected by their reactions. They're not affected by outside influences. They are now at cause over their reality. And we talked about this, being at cause or being at effect. When your leadership energy is activated, you're now at cause over your environment, not at effect. This is a very powerful place to be. You're now at cause over your emotions and you're not at effect. You are in control. The leadership is active, meaning that you're moving energy in the physical universe. And there is a saying that goes, action taken today on a good plan is infinitely better than action taken tomorrow on the best plan so do it now do it now you also can't be in constant planning mode guys and you don't want to be a professional seminar attendee as well take action in the real world and stop failing and stop falling it doesn't matter because you're always failing forward and you're always moving forward regardless also like another really amazing phenomena of having your leadership energy activated is that you no longer feel like you're making any hard decisions or you can easily make hard decisions somebody else would think it's hard but it's not really hard when you're when you really have your leadership uh, energy activated because one of the basic fears that most people have is stepping on people's toes. They don't want to hurt other people's feelings. They don't want to offend anybody else. But have you noticed that true leaders will say what they want, when they want, how they want to say it, and they're just fearless, right? They just seem so courageous, so bold, because they so know that they are right. Um, and they say it with conviction, and they really don't care if they offend it's not like they don't care if they're offending someone because they understand what exactly is happening so look this is what it is when leaders appear to be pushing people's buttons or they appear to be triggering someone stepping on somebody's toes offending them it's that person that's being offended it just means that they've activated a suppressed emotion that's now been raised to the surface that leader knows that it's not my responsibility of how that person feels all they have done is activated and triggered an energy that was suppressed within them that has now been brought to the surface so they don't take responsibility for how that person feels if you are a true leader that person would also take full responsibility for how they feel and they would actually see it as the best opportunity to ever to then use the Sedona method which is what Minel talked about in a previous video to release and let go transmute that energy and feel light and free so they can have a good life too do you see how powerful this is guys you being a leader of yourself benefits the entire freaking universe and everybody around you that you interact with you are a blessing to be in their presence and if they have their leadership active as well and you give them permission to be leaders of their own life they are a blessing to you as well it's a win-win situation all around i just want to add that leaders the true leaders like true leaders who are doing it because they're they're good at leading themselves but they also have an intention for liberation and freedom for everyone mm. those are the leaders that may seem to be offending you but they're not going out there to offend people no. on purpose yeah. and make other people's lives miserable in fact their intentions are for true liberation and freedom for all so those are the type of leaders that Kashmir is talking about when a, that type of true leader seems as if they're offending someone they're not mm. actually doing that 
like Kashmir said, they're just triggering something that was already suppressed, in, suppressed in that person that has surfaced. Mm -hmm. So that person can work on releasing it. When the intention, the energy behind what a leader is saying is good, it's pure. That is felt by many people. If you feel hurt or upset, then use that as an opportunity to transmute that energy and release it. And a true leader will be there to actually help you through that process so you can attain freedom and liberation from your uncontrollable suppressed emotions. So you're no longer keyed in, you're no longer triggered, you're permanently blown out that stuck, trapped negative energy that was inside of you. We also wanna say that we are all leaders of our lives and we're gonna do another video on that about how you lead yourself Yes. So yes, there are leaders out there, but ultimately you lead yourself. your life yourself. Yeah. Leadership is courage. It's believing in your dream. It's believing in yourself. It's believing in God. It's believing in the universe. It's not fear-based. It transcends from belief to knowingness. It's that energy within and people can sense it. So remember guys, be a leader of yourself. There's much more to talk about leadership. We will be covering some more aspects of leadership in future videos, so stay tuned for those. And I hope that was a cute little inspiration for you. Remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button so our YouTube videos reach more people and we shall see you on the next one. Bye, Bye for now. now.